Hello everyone, Dr. Ashes here. I want to predict when does this coronavirus pandemic will be over. Please keep that in mind that this is based on my own research. I'm not a virologist and this is all coming from my understanding. And take this prediction with a grain of salt. Only the time will show that this prediction is correct or not. As I explained in my previous video, which I leave the link in the description, there's two types of coronavirus, L and S. The L type is more aggressive and deadly and the S type is weaker. But whoever gets one of these coronaviruses will be immune to the other one. Why? Because the spikes of these coronaviruses is similar, very similar. So the antibody that produced inside the body from to fight one of these viruses can recognize the other one as well. So the person will be immune, partially immune. So. To explain this more, when a population get this coronavirus, the L type is the most aggressive one. So mostly the 70% of the cases is from the L1. But the thing is because the symptoms are very severe, these people whether uh, voluntarily quarantine themselves, means they understand they have, they have a coronavirus, so they, they quarantine themselves in the house, or the symptom is so bad they go to the hospital. So basically, they separate it from the majority of the society. While the S type is keep on moving between the people. Because so many people that getting the S type, they don't understand that they even got the virus because the symptom is very mild. Therefore, while the amount of the people who get the L type reduce inside the population, the amount of the people who get the S type, which is less deadly, is only deadly to the old people and people with a certain condition, is spreading throughout the population, slowly, slowly. And the good part of this story is that whoever get the S type won't get the L type anymore. So therefore, majority of people who got infected by the S type become like an umbrella over the people who get the L type. So now let's look at the let's look at the modeling the uh, Wuhan pandemic diagram with the previous pandemic like H1N1 and Spanish flu and we should see the differences here. As we can see here from the Spanish flu, it can be three waves. And these three waves of the pandemic is correlating with the human uh, human behavior and also the virus means in all of these cases there's a there's a certain time that people think oh it's they relax already they think okay it's over they go out and they reduce the quarantine and the measure of the safety and then it's outbreak again same as h1n1 in this diagram similarly three waves and this mostly in all the pandemics, we can see these three waves. But the interesting thing is, when I look at the Wuhan pandemic diagram, it didn't come with the three waves. It's all happened with the one wave. And in my opinion, this is again my own opinion and understanding. This is because as the virus progress, the strong deadly virus, because the government take the measurement and also people getting cautious about it. The amount of people that get the deadly one slowly, slowly reduce. While the amount of the people who getting the weakest one, the S type, is slowly, slowly increase. So at some point, as I explained before, it reached the point that as you can see in this video, the S which is weaker, become like an umbrella and it cover the population over the L type. And that's the time that the that this pandemic will be over. And I think those countries that have been struggling with this within five to eight months, the pandemic in their in these countries will be over. Means those people who got the viruses, whether they are in their hospital or they are quarantined at home and the S type slowly, slowly spread between people without they even knowing it because the symptom is very mild, except for those old people and people with diabetes and kidney problem and 
uh, old age and slowly slowly most of the majority of the society become immune to the l type and once this happened this over so i think in most of the countries right now that they are struggling with the covid 19 this will be over by september and maximum october this is my prediction and let's see i hope it be correct because based on who this won't go away for a long time so my prediction is 100 percent different from WSU. so let's see please stay safe and fine till my next video